Hello, it's Shug here, and uh, I'm heading north on the Spear Hiking Trail. Kind of excited because this is a section I've never done before. So what I'm trying to do is just fill in the last part. This is the very northern part of the Superior Hiking Trail, and uh, it's the part I've never come up and done. Fall is popping out here. It's beautiful. <sighs> just finished up my summer season. I'm ready to walk, so I'm going to get to that right now. Woo, buddy! Uh, you know, the greatest thing about getting on the trail is that solitude you're having, and then you're out here for a couple hours, you go, I want to see a person. I ran into Scott right here, up here from Ohio. Yeah. Yeah. And it was funny, because I was just eating lunch. I thought, man, wouldn't it be great to meet Sugar up here, see him on his videos and stuff, and uh, you know what? Well, I always kind of like, I run into people in the cities, and they go, we always just kind of figure you live on the trail. But, uh, woo, buddy, good to run into somebody here from Ohio. Thanks, Sugar. All right, man. Oh, I got a good groove going on today. I'm walking well. And uh, it took me about four and a half hours to drive up here where I was going. To diddle around in the car a little bit, figure out where I was going to park, which direction I wanted to go. So I decided to head up toward the end of the trail and probably camp on the way up tonight. I was thinking maybe I could get up there and head back, but I don't know. The wood smells so good. Fall is popping. I'm just stopping to look at a lot of stuff. Ran into that guy, just passed two other guys. I'm kind of surprised to see that. They're just started at the top and on their way down. So, golly, this is a great section up here. I like it a lot. That fog is rolling in. Coming in from the lake, kind of coming over those bluffs. It's coming at me. Mother. Well, I haven't checked in with you for a while, so uh, here I lay. Oh, it's, it's about quarter to nine, and I'm crawled into my El Dorado hammock with my Jacks are Better lightweight 40 degree top quilt. I got my Wilderness Logic 40 degree under quilt on, and um, covering me tonight because we have some rain man it started thundering it's rained like three times it's kind of a rumbly thunder and it would rain while i was hiking in and uh i've got my war bonnet mini fly over the top good to go and i'm sharing a site tonight i did pass seven people on the trail today which surprised me but i'm sharing a site with a guy named Lynx, and uh he's an at through hiker he's through hiked the vermont long trail three times and he just did the kekakabic trail just finished the border route trail today and jumped onto the superior hiking trail here and is doing that whole trail so we shared a site and we've sat there and had some dinner and been talking camping and trails and backpacking philosophy and uh, that guy he loves walking the trail he was good company tonight so I got up on the uh, trailhead maybe about 1 uh, I was trying to get up early early and I just rolled back over and went to sleep so I didn't really get up till 7 and uh, just got up and, you know, just didn't kill myself getting up here. About a four-hour, 45-minute drive to the trailhead out here. It's a starry night with a little bit of lightning going on, so that's kind of cool. Never seen that much. Good night, everybody. Kali Nikta. Oye Suminisai. Oh, I got myself nine and a half hours of sleep. Maybe ten. Slept really good last night. So, uh, Lynx got up about first light and... Packed up quietly. Thank you, man, if you ever see this. You were very stealthy. Barely heard you. And I laid there, pretended I was sleeping, listening to you fart and get your bear back down and have your quiet breakfast. And he hit the trail. And now I'm going to head on north, but I'm kind of taking my time this morning a little bit. Hit me medallia d'oro. Hit my peanut butter pap tart. Now I'm going to have myself a little, little oatmeal and a couple of bites of some... Uh, Jerky bacon, or bacon jerky. And then get to walking. Looks like it's going to be a fine day. It's humid. 
but the sun's coming out. It's kind of cool. There's a good breeze up here. So I'm heading up to Otter Lake Road in the end of the trail. Then I'm going to touch the sign, turn around, come back. Kind of walking slow because uh, I just don't want to sweat as much today. Had a good lollygagging camp. Got on the trail about 9. Boom! So I'm treating myself this trip to some Gouda cheese and my favorite little French olives. So good. Mm-hmm. I'm sitting there just looking out at the fall colors out that way. Drying a few things out. Lovely little spot up here. Uh, I've been walking maybe about an hour and 15 minutes and I'm just soaking wet from humidity. Not that hot. and then. You know, actually, it's getting cloudy now. Slight chance of rain. I don't care. Sun might come back out. That'd be nice. Fall colors popping. Wood smell fantastic. Taste that olive. Slightly salty. Meaty. Mm. The texture of it. Wonderful. Nice thin cut piece of Gouda. Excellent. Delicioso. I'm loving it so much. Well, here we go. Here's where the border route trail starts, and I'm touching the, touching the kiosk. So, kind of the very end of the Superior Hiking Trail. Now you go back to catch the trail, back that way. So now to head back to, uh, I'm either gonna stop at the Andy Creek site. Um, ankle's kind of hurting for some reason. I'm gonna take my boot off here and look at it. Did kind of turn it, oh man! Look, people throwing the trash back down in there. Man, that ain't right. I can't even talk anymore after seeing that. Yeah, it's starting to rain. Starting to drizzle a little bit, and uh, I'm tired. I'm going to stop here at Andy Creek. I was thinking about going on, but it's about another six miles back to that other camp. And uh, I just, uh, I'm ready to be done. Got myself a tight hang, but it's going to work. This is one of those times I had to, because uh, I like whoopee slings, went off my continual loop right there. And that's, that'll do it. Yeah, got my bloody self set up. Man, I got here, I was thinking about uh, when I, because I came by the site already today, stopped and had a little can of Spam. Mmm. It was lovely. I loved it. Started to rain right before I got here. Just kind of started to drizzle a little. And I said, man, I'm going to stop. I'm going to get set up. I don't want to walk another four hours to get back down to the camp where I stayed last night. Could be five hours, actually. Because uh, it's a little up and down and windy. And I'm just <laughs> moving slow. So I'd rather get up early. Early! And... Take off in the morning and boogie on back to the car. I'll be having a turtle's cocoa. My hillbilly pot, my fancy feast. I'm in the old turtle's cocoa from Nestle's. That's going to be exciting. Real excited about that turtles. Go, go. So this is the Andy Creek site. It's the northernmost site. It's the last one before you get to the pointing back that way because that's north. End of the Superior Hiking Trail. Andy, 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 Andy. Andy, Andy. Turtle Coco.
That always annoyed my mother. That annoys my wife. That is starting to annoy me. Hey, turtle cocoa. Oh, it's got a chocolate and caramel lilt to it. It's lovely. It's a lovely cocoa. I'm loving it right out here in the rain. I'd say last night probably got to uh, 52 degrees by morning. It was a little chilly, just perfect, man. I mean, you know, just, just lovely. Lovely! Yep. Having a mountain house. They're so happy. Sitting by that rock. Beef stroganoff and noodles. I was kind of craving that. And then my dessert wafer will be the light timeout wafer. Oh, good morning. I'm sitting here waiting for my coffee. It's a little cool. Uh, it's about 6 in the morning. And uh, like I said, I'm waiting for that coffee. And it got up early. Early. And I'm uh, waiting for that coffee. So I'm just going to continue to stare at that pot and wait for that coffee. Right now, I'm being fueled by my Medaglia d'Oro Instant Espresso. This north end of the trail has been a lot prettier than I thought it would be. Probably the most remote section of the Superior Hiking Trail. And it's got plenty of ups and downs, roots and rocks, but it also has these nice sections of, uh, oh, I guess I dare say rambly. But I found it a little more challenging than what uh, my mind was telling me it was going to be. But now I get to look at it again going back down the trail. So, uh, you know, when you do an in and out, so on something like this on an in and out, I walk up the trail from the car, and then I walk back down the trail to the car. Uh, my summer work has come to a close, and uh, I always feel sort of tired at the end of the summer. I feel good, but I feel tired, and I definitely feel it on the trail here. I feel like I'm getting hypoxic. I'm going to have to go down to Camp 3. I'm at the highest elevation of the Superior Hiking Trail. 1,829 feet. Awesome. No view here, though. But it's kind of cool to know this is the highest point. So I ran into Annie here on the trail, right here uh, on the Spear Hiking Trail, and she's been hiking from the NCT from Michigan through Wisconsin. Now she's almost done with the Spear Hiking Trail, mm -hmm. and then she's gonna go on the Border Route Trail. <laughs> totally. And, and are you Better doing the? Out. Yeah. Are you gonna do the Keck too? <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then and then go do the Keck. Yeah. Wow. I'm just heading as far west as I can stand to go now. My original goal was to go all the way to the western terminus in North Dakota, but I've been slower than I thought I would be. Right. So I doubt I'm. I doubt winter's going to give me a thousand more miles. You're putting me to shame. No here. way. Uh, uh, no. Uh, uh. I, I mean, I love people that really take this time to through hike these long trails, and uh, so I'm going to turn this off and just ask her some questions I'm curious about, and you're not going to get those answers. <laughs> Say bye, Annie. Bye. Woo, buddy. Bye. Woo, buddy. Bye. Yeah, I'm getting myself a good walk on. I stopped and had a little lunch. I had kind of my first lunch. I had a Munts German candy bar. I finished my olives and cheese. I watered up. Bam. That was good. And I still got a ways to go. I'm not even to Jackson Lake Road yet. And then blah, 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 diddly, 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 diddly. One of those cool days where it's really windy and uh, I was kind of coming back all about hour and a half ago or so man just heard a tree fall in the woods it's always startling i mean that sound goes on a while hellacious overlook That is what they call hellacious overlook. Dirty words.
Okay, trail thoughts. For one, this trail has uh, challenged me more than I thought. I'm getting close to the car, but man, uh, I don't even remember day one, and there's a ton of ups and downs. So I'm going to say this north end is moderate at times, difficult, challenging at others. It's a fine mix of the both. But there is plenty of ups and downs and ups and downs. And I don't know why I was assuming that it was just going to be like a little flat cakewalk. I mean, I'd even looked at the profile. I went, eh. But I feel like the miles are longer up here than they are in other sections of the trail. That said, it's a beautiful, beautiful section of trail. You don't really cross any rivers or anything. You see a lot of ponds. And oh, in Minnesota, a pond is usually a beaver pond, a beaver dam. And... Uh, Across a lot of little creeks, so not rivery, but pondy and creaky. And of course, then you see that one Jackson Lake there that you can look down on. Uh, there's I, no way to get down to it that I could see. It'd be a lot of work. That's my report, all secured Sector 7. Woo, buddy! Gonna have me a little uh, fish right here at the Angry Trout. Some. Uh, Lake Superior whitefish and fritters. Yeah! There's my lake whitefish with my salad, with my mustard maple dressing, tartar sauce, taters, and some pasta. Man, that looks good. I'm gonna have myself a ginger brew with that. Man, this uh, this lake whitefish is really good. Got some golden potatoes with it. I gotta tell you, salad's fantastic. Having the pasta with it, that's a winner, man. The angry trout, Grand Marais, and the scenery can't be beat. Uh,